All right, third video in the series, I'm gonna discuss Jennifer and why it pertains to me. She basically um, concentrated most of her um, work in her terrorist cell that she developed in Hanahan in Georgia and also Florida, which is the most recent part that she has uh, migrated to, to you know, build more collusion centers. You know, what, I, what they would call fusion centers for police. You know, um, she works at a last in DMV. She would also work as a teacher. She can also work as an actress or a singer. You know, that's because we have doppelgangers. Uh, some are just getting murdered for the, you know, purpose of uh, police being entertained. And some of them are just ganging up on the ones getting murdered. So getting a, 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 a right name and all that is impossible unless you fingerprint timestamp and photograph the person you're trying to log there I would have to do that for my own family members now not like I could get one to even stand in front of me and actually do one single thing I needed them to do or let me say one single thing or even you know let me do anything under my own volition that makes me independent I would go straight to the mental hospital for trying because it would start an argument where they scapegoat me and gaslight me Okay, in the house because my mother and father are getting rich for having orgies. That makes money, period. Okay, I've never been to them. I would know they're happening, okay? And, you know, Jennifer is becoming, you know, in this city, a multiple person thing. But one of them is stealing my house. Has to because she's actually not getting much money where she works. And my father is straight up using her as a tool. A terrorist. My dad uses people, you know, that I went to high school with now as terrorists in a jeesh. That's his, that's his problem right now is getting me out to have a lookalike be in the jeesh who was already in it. And plus to embarrass me to keep his image because his entire image is, I mean, his entire image is about him being a top secret guy, you know, just some asshole you would be creeped out by, which is a compliment to him. Okay, he was a SEAL, but not so much of a SEAL as much as a terrorist. Okay, and you know, he works for the Army. But think about the military uh, industrial complex. They want to implant people and fuck them up. Look at the most blood and whatever. The girl I'm talking about now has been messing with me from what she can, you know, describe with her beautiful psychic powers is from 2002 when she actually got with my mother and father, killed my mother with Quez. The guy Milk Love on Facebook, some really cool person in a you know a purple Hummer, and she'll drive it around because she drives a Rav Four. Why would she not drive this dude's car? Because she drives a piece of shit that's worth less than my phone. So, um, and still to this day, this woman has not confronted me once that she's my girlfriend and shit. You know, she claimed that on TV, yo, and she sings to like so many people dumped me and I don't even know this girl on TV uh, and plus you know when I had to go to probation which was the straight up stupidest thing they ever made me do without getting me off probation and let me just get on with my life she had to have sex with literally everybody I was going to potentially come in contact with she had to have sex with them as part of her control thing limited responses now is the point with her when you actually have to deal with her and handle the situation as if she was a criminal, then you gotta totally be like, "Whoa, I messed with Jennifer. I'm sorry, I messed with you. You're so, you're so in the right. You're so in the right. Plus, when you murdered those kids, it was fucking awesome. That's how it is. And look at this woman. Screw her, yo. This old dumb bitch. For real, Jennifer. What the fuck, woman? I don't give a shit. I bought this just to make fun of you. So I could care less if you was a some. I mean, for real." This woman gets all the attention on TV. That is not shit as far as a sexy woman. I'm telling you. Look at that. It's bullshit, yo. She gets to be a pedophile on stage and shit. How could I be a pedophile? She did all that porn and stuff. Oh, that's right. I'm a lookalike of now of some guy who doesn't do porn. I did porn and all that stuff. Well, I just know what the deal is because I know I'm being contradicted, gaslighted and everything. And my parents are going to claim up and down, I can't work with the kid. He doesn't let me say anything. He's always doing stuff that's like, you know, crazy and stuff. Well, what options do I have when you use 
a real chip in my head against me, mom and dad, when you use real mind control on me, mom and dad, and fuck you for not being my mother. Whoever the fuck you are. It was like Teresa or Barbara. Another another doppelganger since my dad recruits like, you know, five of them a day to drive around and fuck with my life. I'm just going to stop cussing because it's just so mad. My mother was shot and killed just to get me booed and laughed at. No, it's public information. Everybody in the streets has to know it because it's gossip. You know, that's what that's what T.I.s will say. And then it, it, it's a clone right in my face. That'll just get me freaking mad. And the point with T.I.s is to get them to load a machine gun and go out in public and shoot everybody. Everybody knows that. You know, there will be nothing done to stop the crap from happening to those people. So what you got to do is brainstorm a way to keep your house safe so you can... You know, me and everyone else that's target individual and fuck anybody who watches this shit and thinks I'm stupid and crazy can actually get along with their own selves and be with themselves. If they're crazy, how can you judge anybody? If, I, if I'm crazy, how can you judge me? You can't. You can make money and you can get a thrill and you will get someone's ass whooped for being that way, you assholes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for doing that to me. And I got a full right to complain, but I'm in this country who's pulling it. So that's my only problem. I'm not going to get help. If I got help from an army soldier, he was literally taking time out of his life to protect me. I got a Marine swearing up and down. He's in the army and all the shit I'm saying is bullshit because he fucking did exactly what Michael and Chris needed to do to me. And it happened right in front of me because my, my brain implant works. I'll discuss that in the fourth video. So... How, Im how implants are like designed to work and we all know it. I just have to say it again. But literally, stop the crap from happening to me where I have to go to the hospital in the first place. Let me go get a job. Let me move out of state without my family saying, get him back here. He can't leave. He's freaking insane. He'll hurt himself for somebody. Or, you know, he ain't going to get a girlfriend. He ain't capable of supporting himself. Why would they be saying that, you know? It's to keep me like out of a Lambo so they can actually spend... More time, you know, fucking with me and riding Lambos and keeping the shit working where I can't see it for everyone to see that going on, you know? I mean, I've never seen a man compensate for being such a worm with money, you know? My father. He gives me $25 a day on average, and I'm not jealous of this, but why is he giving... And anybody would think this and wonder why. He gives... Thousands of dollars away a day. It's fucked up because he's got this woman to give money to every day. What's her name? Oh, on uh, that's Jennifer. But and we all know what Michael and Chris looks like—just me without a beard. And it's just, it's just, it's just, it's stupid as nonsense. And 